Okay. Okay, so here we have the Mustang Mach-E. We're absolutely delighted to be able to show you it, to it today. We've been waiting for a long time to allow, to get you in it, to let you drive it, because frankly, in my view, the best part of it all is driving it. But before we do that, let's just show you around the rest of the vehicle. So first thing you notice, of course, is the styling of the vehicle. If you look at the, the haunches at the rear, the, the styling of the front, the curvature on the doors, and of course, the rear lights. So you see, the looks of the car is the first thing that you notice and the first thing that draws people in. Okay, so as we come around, um, so one of the things that we thought was, is important, the entry system, because you want the car to feel special from the first time you come, come to the car and touch it. So we've got this door, door entry system, but it actually it feeds the door to you. So it takes all the effort out of opening, you can open it with your little finger. Okay, and, and it uses push a, a pusher system to break the seal or break ice or so on, and it's all sealed here. So you don't have any issues from rain or wind or snow or so on freezing the doors up. And it's one of the first cars ever with um, visually no, no, no door handles whatsoever. So really nice system. It's really, really intuitive. So you kind of do it in one motion here and the door helps you to open. On the rear, we went with no handle here. Uh, we chested it with a lot of people, including children, who reach up and press the button and then they open it here. That's where the rubber is and that stays really clean because the airflow runs over it very fast. By coming around to the rear, of course the beautiful uh, rear light system is all integrated here into the, into the um, lug uh, luggage co um, cover and th this is plastic actually so it does two things, the balance is the weight and also allows you to do things like integrating in here, it's very difficult to do in, in metal. Open this, oh, so you can open with your foot here as well. Um, now we've got some innovation in here because this is an SUV for use by who want to use it as an SUV for their family. We wanted to make the luggage space as easily usable as we could. So we've got this innovation here. Usually there's a shelf here on this type of car. That shelf can be in the way a lot. Um, and so we, this innovation came actually from our vehicle in uh, a Puma in Europe and where it's attached to the lift gate and it's out of your way. The trouble is that means you can slam it down on the luggage and it could damage it. So it's, it's flexible material so that you can just close it on luggage and forget about it and it still covers the luggage. We've also got here, here and that also gives the shelves here, there's no shelf. So you can make it completely square and you can fit furniture from well-known furniture stores that you, uh, uh, that you build yourself in. The next one is people, some people like the floor high and some people like low so you can just move it between them simply that gives more luggage space but for some people they, they don't want it so low they want it higher so so we wanted people to have both also you just press the seat to fold it forward and you can flip it forward in a second when you're at the shop and you just want to throw some more luggage in and, and when it's at the top space it makes a completely flat load space oh wow but how, how easy is it to go back so just up here and just oh, yeah, it's light. I mean, you can just do it like this yeah so and back up and then it, and it's flat. So we wanted the best of both worlds. And here you've got extra storage space and even when it's in the lower position, just here, you see you've, we put the covers to stop things rolling about. So the, you know, that's, the guys work really hard on making it the most usable space we could. Let's close that one down. Okay, if we come around here. Okay, so if, we, if you would like to come around to the front, I'll just open the front trunk. Some people call Frank. <laughs> And show you because in these cars of course with, without the engine there you've got extra space so here we've got one of the biggest trunks in in the industry it's in its class it's got it's got cup holders it's it, you can fill it with ice it's got a drain and when the drain sees water it drains out so you can front gate with it if you like instead of tailgate and your front gate your front gate right. and, and we've got a seal here which seals so, so that it keeps everything in there. If it moves around in there, it stays. So stationary. you can drive with your cooler. You can you can drink. fill it up with ice, throw in some drinks, and drive, just drive all the way there, and then just lift it up here. That's awesome. Yeah, it, and, and it also means you can throw sports kit in there, dirty sports kit, or take away food, and you can actually hose it out. So when you get there, if you want to clean it, so um, something again, you, innovation we thought that your customers would love. So I'll close this one. So here is, um, you'll see, this is a grill shutter. This is about um, the front surface. When it's closed, it's completely aerodynamic. And when the car needs cooling, it opens these vents up and allows the cooling to run through. So it's very unusual on cars at the moment to have um, shutters like that, um, active aero on the, on the front surfaces of the vehicle. So that allows us to get the best of both worlds for um, uh, aerodynamics and for cooling. 
Okay. So now I'll just tell you a few things about inside. So before we go inside, just tell you what you're going to see. So the first thing you're going to notice when you sit down is the 15 and a half inch uh, control system in there. This is completely ground up and made for this vehicle. And it was made with human centric directly with customers to be the most innovative, most easy to use and a system that knows you. So I'm going to tell you more about that we're inside, but that's the first thing you're going to notice. But even before you get in, the phone, your phone is the key. So as you walk up the car, it sees the phone, and it starts to load your profile into the car. And you'll see your, your photograph at the top of the screen when you get in because it must be personalized to you. And it personalizes the seat positions, the, um, the controls set up, the temp temperature, the lights, the music, which sports team you like. I mean, every, all of the personalization settings of the car will be set before you sit down. And it will start to condition the cab into the way that you like it conditioned as well. So then you press the button, which will have already unlocked, and, and you'll just press the button and it'll feed into you, and then you're into the car. Okay, now the first thing you notice in the car is, of course, the 15 and a half inch screen system. And I mentioned that it knows you. That's the most important thing. So here you see your picture, your profile. And really, to learn how to use the system is just a couple of things. One is, this is you. Everything that's you. It's your profile. It's your suggestions for things that you do, even for that morning. So it may say, if you call your wife on the way to work, it will say, call your wife. Um, and it will pick those up over time and, and become more and more intelligent at those using off-board analytics. And then here are all your apps. So there's things like phone and navigation, but even Android Auto or Apple CarPlay. Here's Waze. Here's Ford Pass. So the whole app catalog, you get your apps in the car. So that's, that's the first thing. The second one is anything to do with car settings is under the little car. So press the car. Here's the car settings. Here, here's the fast ones. So, for example, I can change the drive modes. I'll talk more about those in a minute. And then you've got the car settings. Everything is just in one row. So it's just here, here. And you can even you know, flick these up. It's got inertia. And all the car settings, you can just browse through them. And everything's in one place, not spread above uh, the screen in front of you as well. Then the third piece is this system here. So um, you can make this larger if you like. And so here, here we have Sirius uh, Radio here, and and it has all of the settings for you. But, you know, it, you can record, you can um, uh, put lots of settings in here, and then you can um, um, let's put this smaller here. You've got these cards here. Now, what the purpose of these are? You can have say navigation here, and then you've got cards. I can still see the radio, and this is trip planning. This is, happens to be tire pressure. And I can still change stations on the radio without having to come away from my main window. And that's the purpose of these cards. And as you load something new, let's say I say trips here, it loads something new. It will rearrange the cards. After about an hour, what you'll find is the top four things that you do will be at the front. And that's the whole point is to personalize it to you. And after that, you pretty much find that everything you need is one touch away with your fingertips here. So that's the screen system. There's much more, but I, I won't go into all that now. Um, then you've got a screen in front of you, 10 inch screen in front of you, high resolution. This is for your information. And of course, um, the car has uh, co Active Copilot 360, which is the co-drive system, which would also be hands-free. So it's important that this screen can tell you what mode the car is in at any given point, and it can help you understand what's happening. So here is also, a camera system, infrared, monitoring your eyes to make sure you're paying attention to the road. And all you need to do, and later on we'll be releasing the update in the first year for hands-free, the system will tell you it's ready and it would have a little animation to tell you can let go and you can let go of your hands and the system will monitor your eyes. As long as you are looking ahead, the system will drive hands-free uh, on the road and the highway. So that's an important part to the car. Um, some other important things are that I love is the sound system because because the cars are so quiet and it's a Mustang. Frankly, we had to have a great sound system. So it's got a B and O tuned sound system, twelve speakers and subwoofer, and it sounds absolutely stunning. It, I, it makes the hairs on the back of my neck stand up, to be honest. And in these COVID times, I love to just go out and drive and put some music on. And so I found I'm listening to all my back catalogue again of music. That's something I really love about the vehicle. Um, some other things, that the centre console, this has been designed human-centric first, so it's designed about what you want to do, not design first. So, for example, you put your phone here, and it charges the phone, the phone wirelessly connects CarPlay, and you simultaneously have CarPlay and the car systems running. And of course, if you have CarPlay, you have all your apps, all your music, 
Spotify, so on. But the space for another phone, because a lot of people have two phones these days. So that's there. You have USB-C and B uh, for power if you need that as well. Cup holders. Then you have covered storage here, because, of course, that's important as well. You've got more power sockets and uh, connections in there as well. Another thing that's unique to this car are the drive modes. They're not like modes in a normal car. They're really in complete sets of experiences. So we're on Whisper at the moment. You'll see that there's a slow animation running behind that, and it's the same in the cluster of the car. And and if you drive more gently, I eco and whisper, the, the screen will grow, glow more and more blue, and it's kind of like uh, the, the, the sea over sand, if you like, a kind of imagery. And if you want to um, amp the car up, you press unbridled, and you see the car will switch over to unbridled. It changes many things in the car, ranging from the cluster and the graphics, the sound, the one-pedal drive system, the steering feel, the pedal mapping. It changes the whole feel of the car and to something much more um, vibrant and much, much more reactive. Um, and then you have Engage as well, which is our mid middle position, uh, which again m ramps it back down a bit. But now it also shows a gauge and it will show your destination and how much charge you've got. And really that was designed for people who are a bit nervous about the range and worried, am I okay? And it's going to show you, you have much more range than the destination that you're going to. It's just subliminally giving you reassurance, you're, you're covered on range. You, you know, we, we got, we, your car's got you covered. If you touch in the middle, work like for the vent, just somewhere it'll, it'll go, that's it, isn't it? Not many people have got this yet, or video of this yet, so it's all new. And if you click, that's it, if you click up and down on the temperature, you'll see, on the, you know, the left there, temperature, there you go, that's it. That's it, and you can slide with your finger, there you go. Or you can dab it, or you can, you know, whatever you want, really. yeah, whatever you want works. Yeah, top middle, that's the one of the most important actually. Top middle, the picture of the person. That's one of the most important of all. That's you know, your stuff. And it maybe you want to click, see the little arrow to the next next to mic that opens the profile. There you go. And then you can see that you can add a profile, add a guest. Maybe add a profile there. Just click add. There you go. And you've got see that there, create profile. Just click create. You haven't got to go all the way, just click create profile. And there you go, and yeah. Yeah, one you might want to do is um, press the car again, and then press uh, navigation, it's the card bottom left, there, down, left, there, that's it, so get that, and you can just pinch with your fingers, so just pinch it inwards, or, or inwards probably best, yeah, there you go, just like, click the charging stations if you like. Now it's going online, it's doing an online check, there you go, and you can click charge point there, there you go, just turn your, your phone. and it actually you can pull that upwards, if you pull that little, that whole thing upwards, that's it there, pull it up, there you go, you get more info, that's very nice, no one's seen that yet, you can change it if you want to, it's give you information, there you go, it's got all the information about charging, it's quite important really. And then one more, if you click that, uh, it's a spanner to the left of where it says 728 feet. There you go. Click there, and now you can add things. If you click weather, you can add weather to the to the screen. Quite nice. There you go. That's quite nice. Radar, maybe click radar. Oh yeah, you've got, no one's seen this stuff. No one's seen this stuff. That's pretty cool. That is pretty cool. It's just showing him the... You get the weather on the nav and then you click radar, it's got radar there. Oh wow. It's nice. And there's your entire range area that you can go as well. Oh, I've never seen that move. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. And today's snow, look at that, how cool. Oh, is that? I need to get a picture of that. That's pretty cool, isn't it? That, no one's got that. Oh yeah, I just I'll show you. Wow, that's, that was pretty cool. That's cool, isn't it? It's that, yeah, that it's that's it. That's that. You can add things to the map, basically. 
Oh yeah, park, auto park system. Access, if you click access. Jamie, showing you, there you go, the cars. You can open the boot from there. Driver assistance. I see, you know, it's got a lot of settings. Because you can control absolutely everything if you want to, you know, you didn't like. Okay. And you've got the colour. Now, if you click one of them, like, you know, any colour. Okay, and now press the colour. You go, now you pull it up and down. <laughs> see? Oh, look at that. Of, yeah. There you go, that's very cool. No one's recorded that ever yet. And then uh, close that one, top, uh, um, top, top left, yeah. And then open it again. Click settings, top, top there. The right settings, yeah. And then scroll up to display. It's that one screen up, there you go, display. And one thing that would be nice to show would be center display mode dark. If you click that, now light, and the whole thing will change light. In case that's what you like. We all like light. <laughs> Auto is day and night, you know, with a mm -hmm. with a sensor. And if you want to, you know, click the um, to the right of the volume of the control knob to, to pull up the HVAC so they can see it in light. And there you got it. There you go. You can see it in light in case you wanted to. It's very responsive. So when you want to go somewhere, the car has all of the charging stations built into it. And we've put together the largest network in North America, 13,500 charge stations. So you just simply put in where you want to go. So let's choose, let's try New York from here. We're in Ypsilanti here. So let's put in New York. Here's New York. The system will find the shortest route uh, to New York in the normal way. And then when you click go, it will add automatically the charges. EV charge is being added to route. And it will add the charger stations in. So it's just finishing calculating now, and it rechecks the routes to make sure it has the best one uh, for you, for you, including the charging stations. And here we go. Laws. Now we have the, the charging. Use voice uh, while um, and I'm going to click OK. We're on an unpaved road. That's what I say. So here we have a total trip time of 13 hours. And oh, it just showed we had with a charging. I think it was about an hour and a, an hour and something of charging fast charges on the way. And, and you can modify that route if you like to. You can uh, change the route and you can see what's happening here. And it should show you, look, here's the charges along the route. And uh, we have some amount of those charges included in the subscription when you buy the car.